नमस्कार एंड गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम विजय मोहन स्टॉक मार्केट स्ट्रैटेजिस्ट स्टैंडिंग बिफोर यू अगेन विथ एन अदर वंडरफुल कंपनी एस्टेक लाइफ साइंसेस लिमिटेड ए एस टी ए सी एस्टेक लाइफ साइंसेस लिमिटेड इट हैज बीन फाउंडेड इन 1994 इट्स अ सब्सिडरी ऑफ गोदरेज एग्रोवेट व्हिच इज अ गोदरेज ग्रुप कंपनी एंड Aztec Life has uh, two subsidiaries called Behram Chemicals Private Limited and Aztec Crop Care Limited <coughs> Private Limited. Now, as the name indicates, it's uh, it uh, prepares agricultural intermediates and pharmaceutical intermediates. It is supplying to various industries in various countries like uh, South America, Asia, Europe. Australia and Africa overall about 25 countries <coughs> so how are its results especially latest q4 results the total income in the latest q4 uh, quarter is 279 crores in q3 that is the previous quarter the total income was 175 crores now corresponding quarter of last year that is q4 of uh, fy21 was 173 crores so year on year the total income has uh, expanded by about 61% and quarter on quarter it has expanded by about 59% the total expenditure also has gone up slightly now it is 220 crores in q4 of this year compared to just 139 crores in the previous quarter q3 and 140 crores in q4 of last year <clears throat> so expenditure also has gone up by 57% year on year and 58% quarter on quarter now net profit in spite of the expenditure also increasing proportionately the total the net profit has uh, uh gone up to 43 crores compared to 24 crores only in the previous quarter and 23 crores only in the corresponding uh, uh, q4 of last year which means the net profit has gone up by about 87% year on year and 79% quarter on quarter <coughs> so uh, definitely somewhat impressive 87% improvement in the net profit year on year 79% quarter on quarter 79% quarter on quarter is uh, very good till last quarter the uh, sales and uh, net profit were uh, uh, going up slowly now it has gone up sizeably the eps is uh, something like 22 rupees previous quarter it is it was 13 uh, rupees and uh, year ago quarter 12 rupees <clears throat> so for the full year also the net profit has risen by 38% to something like 90 crores as against last year 65 crores the sales rose by 22% Two rupees six hundred and seventy-seven percent for the latest year, year ended March two thousand twenty-two, compared to five fifty-five crores in the previous year. Now let us look at the prices. The current market price is somewhere around thousand eight hundred and eighty-nine, thousand eight hundred eighty-nine. so price is a little high <clears throat> now 52 week range is lowest is 1060 highest is 1989 which means the current price of 1889 is somewhere in between somewhat nearer to the uh, 52 week high so based on this price of 1889 and the latest eps from something like 22 uh, the price earning comes to 22 <coughs> so 
So I calculate by multiplying by 4 uh, the EPS of the latest uh, quarter and uh, uh, I divide 1889 latest price with uh, the, this uh, 4 quarterly uh, EPS. <coughs> now what are the strengths of Aztec Life Sciences based on the Q4 results? Very high trailing 12 months EPS growth. Uh, very good growth in uh, net profit and net profit margin. Very good growth in operating profit and operating profit margin. Likewise, very good growth in revenue in the uh, latest results. The return on equity has been improving in the last two years, quarter after quarter after quarter after. That means the results are really good. <clears throat> the return on uh, equity has been improving. Likewise, the return on assets also has been improving. <clears throat> As I said, net profit, net profit margin uh, are improving. And operating profit and operating profit margin also are improving. Book value also has been improving. <coughs> and promoter spread is zero. Godrej group is uh, uh, cash rich. They don't need to pledge their shares. The price is on a strong momentum even in this current sluggish market. FIIs have improved, FIIs and FPIs both have improved their shareholding in the current quarter, but mutual funds have slightly decreased their shareholding. Net cash generation is somewhat weak. RSI indicates price strength, price momentum as I said there just now. Even in the sluggish market, price momentum is reasonably good. But price earning ratio 22, not very low. Uh, of course, it is slightly high. Now, taking into account all these things, one premier uh, uh, website, Money Control, has given it 81% pass. Good, no? And the technicals they have given very bullish. <clears throat> Overall, it's a mid-range performer. Yeah, and it is progressing every quarter. <clears throat> now, if you look at the financials, we have seen the financials of uh, Q4, Q3 and last year Q4. And uh, if you examine all those things, you will find they co is the company making uh, profits consistently? Yes. Are earnings improving every uh, year? Yes. Uh, re does uh, recent earnings show strength? Somewhat, yes. Are profit margins stable? Yes. Does company consistently make money for the shareholders? Yes. You see. When you examine the financials, you find yes for most of the uh, parameters. Is the company with low debt? Yes. Have the uh, um, promoters pledged their shares? No. Uh, is it uh, able to run well? Yes. Now the ownership, uh, the promoters are holding adequate equity? Yes. They have not pledged. That is also yes. Uh, what about institutions? FPAs and FIAs are holding on to their uh, uh, equity and they are increasing also. <clears throat> so overall the company has performed well and uh, one of the websites has given it 81% uh, pass something like that. Which means it's a very good company. <clears throat> The volume of transactions at 1,57,000 and odd is also very good, which means, you know, this is also one of the things you need to take into account. It means 
that you can sell well and uh, buy well no problem in selling no problem in buying <coughs> book value per share is something like 158 uh, very good impressive price to book is 12 this is high price to book is a little high high the higher uh, than normal <coughs> market cap is around 3822 crores uh, so overall it seems to be a very good company the price is uh, uh, just about 2% away from 52 week high and 84% away from 52 week low momentum of price is bullish uh, so as a cagr whatever you compare they are all good now shareholding pattern we have seen promoters have not registered but what is their holding 65.29 actually they have increased from 65.19 to 65.29 in the latest quarter mutual funds have decreased but uh, fis have increased their holding so overall it is very good um, the momentum also is bullish the technical trend also is very bullish price performance if you see in the last 3 year the price has gone up by 288% current year so far the improvement is only 36% but uh, given the time now uh, um, in the in uh, course of time to come it's bound to improve a lot maybe it could turn out to be a multi bagger if it continues to churn out results as good as q4 if the uh, momentum of growth is maintained it will be a multi bagger <coughs> the board of directors have recommended a final dividend of about 15% <coughs> so overall i don't want to uh, pester you with lot of uh, statistical information but from what i have told right now you find that this godrej group company a subsidiary of godrej agrovet is a very good company uh, firmly on the growth path so we have to feel because the last two years have been very good we have to feel that the next two years also will be good <clears throat> so future nobody can predict accurately but this is how we make our predictions this is how we make our investments based on what we think of the future so this is where i stop uh astec life sciences is a good company now in a uh, scenario where the uh, <coughs> all the even bajaj finance has fallen it has produced wonderful results but still it has fallen so price momentum was not there now here price momentum also is there to a certain extent reasonable extent but tomorrow may be a different day we don't know but i go by strong financial results <coughs> so that way speaking this is a very good company warren buffet says don't lose your money you can gain the money always but the first task is not to lose the money so uh, but if you have invested in a financially strong company that is operationally strong company no problem the market will recover one day very quickly after this current war goes away i think most of the good stocks will recover and uh, start their upward journey thank you for listening i will be back with you with another very good company progressive company thanks a lot wait for me again <clears throat>